Yeah, just get more comfortable. Um, you know, trusting my teammates, trusting in myself uh, with this off season, uh, and I'm you know I'm proud of what I've, I've done so far. But you know, keep, you got to keep going. What did you do throughout the off season in terms of did you did you train anywhere special or with anybody special? Yeah, um, you know, I took some trips to Houston. Uh, you know, worked with my uh, receiver coach and you know stayed here most of the time. Um, you know, working with DJ. Uh, you know, trying to get the rhythm down with him. Uh, but at the same time, I'm, I mean, I'm, it's, it's a stepping stool. You know, every day just trying to get better. Uh, you know, trying to push to what I want to get to as far as my goals. So, um, you know, the second days. Who's the like receivers coach? Uh, Defonte. Yeah. It seemed like next year there was a lot of little knots, you know, bumps and bruises kind of thing. Was it important to you to sort of, you know, get bigger, more physical? And yeah, I think that kind of ranked on your <clears throat> list of things to do. Yeah, I think that was one of one of the things I wanted to improve on. Um, just talking to you know Coach Daves and Coach Grow, uh, just getting bigger, playing on the outside. Um, you know, you gonna get more uh, press coverage um, and you know more body to body catches. So uh, just getting bigger, getting stronger with my catch point, getting stronger stronger with my hands. Um, <clears throat> and you know, so far everything's working so far. But on weight? Yeah, I have so far. Yeah. How much? Can't say it yet. A lot. <laughs> Can't say it yet. Significant? Can't say it. Can't say it. Um, that make you slower? <laughs> nah, nah that, that, that speed doesn't go anywhere, man. Speed Coach, Coach Grove says that you flex in front. You flex in front. Of uh, yeah, I did. I did. Um, Once or multiple times. Multiple <laughs> times. He always sees me when I'm in the weight room, so you know I'm all energetic and there, ready to go. So um, you know I'm 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 glad to have Coach Gross, my receiver coach, uh, taught me a lot of things. He's been in the league for a while, uh, knows a lot of things, and um, you know it's just it's just a blessing to be you know coached by him. So is your flexing now more impressive than it would have been last year as a rookie? Def- oh yeah, way 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 yeah, yeah. way better way better. Yeah. And, and how does that help you? I mean, not, you know. On the beach, it helps you. <laughs> yeah, no, it does, but it just brings confidence. You know, it brings confidence to myself uh, when I'm on the field. You know, knowing like, man, I can do it. You know what I mean? So um, I think it, it definitely helped my confidence, helped me, you know, improve my game. And in certain areas, uh, as, as far as you know, it, it, this is a hard league, and um, you know, most most of your catches is going to be body to body. And uh, you know, that's one thing I learned my first year. So uh, just making that improvement for next year. Yeah, when you look at this whole unit. Is there an excitement around the right receiver court going into this year that maybe wasn't there last year? It's a lot of excitement. Um, you know, bringing in Malik uh, Neighbors, um, elite guy. Um, you know, he's one of my he's one of one of my good friends. Just knowing him, I talked to him before the draft, um, before we got him. Uh, and you know, everything he did at LSU, man, it's it's, uh, it's elite. You know, and um, when he got here, he's, he's still he's still the same guy. And uh, not only that, we brought Slay back. You know, one, one of our leading receivers, and still got Wandell. Um, so for me, man, it just it brings confidence in that whole room. You know, we we ready to throw it, um, and Dave can see it. You know, it just I think our receiver room, man, we're we're stacked, and uh, we're ready to prove prove what we can do. Jalen, you set really high goals. Last year. I think you told us you wanted to be the offensive rookie of the year. Yeah. There were obviously a lot of external factors around that. Will you still set really high goals? Oh, yeah, this always, year? man, always. Uh, you know, new year, new opportunities, uh, new goals. Um, and, you know, for me, <clears throat> uh, you know, I always set high expectations. Um, and just looking at our team, looking at what we got, um, you know, we have a, a, a good chance to, to do whatever we want to do. And, um, you know, for goals, I just want as a team goal. You know, we, we have a playoff team, and, you know, that's what we're going to do, and that's our focus, and we're going to get there. Jalen, what did you think of uh, Malik's practice today in particular? Yeah, man, he looked good. He looked good. Um, you know, I I have no worries about him. Um, just seeing how he plays and, you know, watching this film, uh, you know, he, he's going to be elite. What do you um, think is unique about him? Uh, I'll just say just uh, how explosive he is uh, at his weight, um, the way he catches the ball, uh, uh, what he does after the catch, um, the run after catch, you know, all of that's elite. And, um, you know, when you bring that to us and to the Giants and with Coach Daves, uh, you know, we, we can do a lot of things with him. And, Put him everywhere. You know, that's one thing about him. You can put him everywhere, outside, inside, slot, uh, running back, whatever you want to do. Um, that's that's the type of receiver he is, and you know, we're gonna make sure we get the ball to him. How did you already have a relationship with him? I think it's the SEC thing. Okay. Um, you know, I played against him, uh, and you know, when he was going through the you know the draft process, he uh, you know he had my phone, just asking about the Giants, you know, asking about the organization. Um, and you know those are questions that I asked when I was being drafted too as well. So um, you, he, he loves the team, and he, he he's a good guy. Um, you know he he uh, just when he got here, he's already in the film. He's already learning the plays. You know quicker than I thought. So uh, I'm, I'm I'm very proud of him. Very proud of what he's done so far. How did you know Malik again? And what was that relationship like before he got here? Yeah, it was just one of those things where you know when we'll play LSU, you know we'll say you know what's up, what's up, you know whatever it is, but. Uh, you know, we're always so busy as far as schedule and everything. It wasn't really, you know, anything where we're hanging out or anything. Um, but so I just, 
I just knew him. No, I'm talking about this is before, you know, we're playing. You said you talked to him before he got here, right, the draft? Yeah, talked to him. I, I didn't see him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, just test him. Did, did you like your rookie year? Um, you know, as far as uh, playing, um, you know, I enjoyed it. I'm, it's a blessing, you know, to be here. But um, a lot of improvement, a lot of improvement to go. go. Um, and, you know, yeah. We set high expectations for this team, and you know, last year, you know, it just wasn't what, what we wanted. Um, I don't think anybody wanted that. Um, for, you, for you, though, for, you. Uh, for myself, um, man, I always shoot for the highest thing, man. So uh, disappointed for my for my rookie year. Um, you know, I want to get better. What were some of the things you learned from Steve Smith this week? Get more, being more aggressive. Uh, you know, that's, how, that's the type of receiver he is. Uh, being more aggressive at the at the press point. Um, he was, he was te- you know, teaching me a lot of little things that uh, that he has done, you know, when he was in the league. And, you know, obviously he's one of the one of the best receivers uh, that played this game. So just having him, you know, out here for a couple of days and uh, hearing what he had to say, um, you know, film uh, when he was out here on the field, man, helped me a lot. So I appreciate it. Does, Thanks, a, does a guy like Malik make life easier for the other receivers in the sense that he may get the doubles and everybody else? Oh, yeah, it, it makes everything easy. Um, I mean, who are you going to double? You know what I mean? Um, you got Leak on one side, you got myself on the other, you got Wondell, you got Slay. I mean, we that, that's how we're that's how we're looking at it. You know what I mean? We we ready to go. Um, I think last year we, we didn't obviously hit our expectation, and uh, you know as receivers uh, we got to play better, and uh, it starts this year. So, so you, didn't get this year. Lot, you didn't get a lot of work with Daniel Jones because of his injury last year. Uh, how is the conversation headed into this season and that chemistry? That's the biggest thing that um, I think myself I had to work on last year. I didn't. Um, <clears throat> Didn't really spend a lot of time as far as reps with him. Um, you know, I started with the threes when I got here, so uh, you know, kind of got reps just a little bit in training camp. Then the season hit, then he gets hurt, so we really, we really never had that time to, you know, really learn each other. Um, and I think this off season is the biggest thing. I've been with him, you know, when he was doing his rehab, staying up here with him, learning how he sees the how he sees the game, what he sees on the field, and you know, trying to come out here and execute it. So. I think that's the biggest thing I, I want to do is to stay around him, um, you know, uh, listen to him. So, you know, when we get out there, it's, it's, it's comfortable. What stood out? Last one. What stood out about how he's tackled in rehab? Um, he's a, you know, he, he's a, probably the biggest um, work ethic guy that I know. I mean, he come, he's the first guy in the building. I mean, I don't even know what time he gets here. Maybe it's 5.30. Um, he stays here forever, and uh, you know, he's the last guy to leave. And that's what you want in the quarterback. You know, when you're when your quarterback comes in here, he's the first guy in the building. He's the last guy out. It just shows how much he respects us, how much he respects this team, and um, how much you know how much he wants to uh, improve and do over whatever he has to do. Uh, we have so much confidence in, in him, uh, so much faith in him, um, and you know he's out there, you know, throwing in seven on sevens, and you know he, he looks good. So we can't wait to have him back in team activities and for training camp. I can't wait. We, we're all gonna be excited.